Correspondents with Jody Vance. Very excited to welcome back Anthony Brown. He is the CEO of Amped Ventures, Inc. And last time we spoke, you had a virtual background, Anthony, but not today. Not today. Today, I am standing in front of the world's largest, highest resolution volumetric capture stage. This is where we make holograms right here at the Departure Lounge. I thought I'd uh, give us a little treat and, and, uh, and shoot it from here today. Uh, and yeah, that's, there's, a, there's 106 cameras in there, uh, all 12 megapixels, 120 frames a second, that are all capturing whatever performance happens in the middle of that stage. Uh, so just so, yeah. for people for people that have never seen your uh, original first dance with Jody Vance, because it was August, I think, just a couple months ago when we first talked, we got all jacked about this. You were showing us your your videos of of the the virtual walkthrough and kind of explain what your Vancouver HQ was like. And there's so much about this facility I want to get to. But before we go down the rabbit hole of all the coolness that Amped brings to the table. When we think about motion capture, I know when I think about layman's terms, mocap, it's like everybody wearing the little balls all over them, right? You got to wear all the balls and then it gets yeah. captured and then you can animate that. How is Amped yeah. Studios here different from that? Um, well, it's, it's uh, not capturing you know, the motion. It's not capturing the rigging. That's what you're doing when you're, when you're doing it with all the little dots on the body and everything else. What you're doing is just capturing the skeleton of the movement. What we're doing here is capturing the full performance, your clothes, your face, everything that happens inside that stage and creating it as a hologram. You can wow. then take that asset and put it into an Unreal Engine or Unity or whatever. Uh, and you know, as you know, these days they use Unity and Unreal to make movies, television shows, et cetera. So you could actually take an asset and put it right into a you know, scene in a movie uh, and shoot it with a virtual camera afterwards because it's already a hologram from all angles. Uh, and of course, all the clothes are captured, your face is captured, your, your whole performance is captured. Um, so yeah, this is, this is next generation stuff. This is, you know, it's not only for use for film and television, of course, but no. also for the metaverse in general, right? So as we start to import the real world into the metaverse, this is the type of facility that you need to be able to do that. And of course, this all runs on AMP Virtual Studio, on the AMP uh, um, technology that runs uh, um, this next generation of digital infrastructure we need for the metaverse. So I want you to kind of now help us to understand for, again, for the person that's thinking, this sounds so cool and I've got a little bit to invest here. I want to know what else when you talk about one of the many pieces of this this next generation of cloud computing and 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 metaverse and holograms and there's so much you got so much news to share i don't even know where to start <laughs> it did uh, kind of all come together uh, in august so in august in vancouver we had one of the biggest events in avfx seagraph uh, which is the big conference that all the avfx companies go to animation visual effects companies go to um, and so we made it our goal after our big raise that we did at the end of last year to have everything built and ready to go for August, which was no mean feat. Uh, this was an incredible effort by the team to put everything together. And what everything is, uh, is first of all, Amp Virtual Studio. So this is the underlying compute that runs all of the real-time rendering graphics, all of the things that the, the virtual workstations, the render, the storage, the all of the computing required to be able to create and distribute this next generation content. Then we also built the world's largest, highest resolution volumetric capture stage. We also have an LED volume in here as well. Um, the LED volume uh, is used for pre but this is where you could display in the, it, you, so you take the, the volumetric asset that we created here. So let's say we make a hologram of me. Me. Then you me. would put, or, 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 or yeah. <laughs> okay. um, uh, 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 just a second. Uh, so so we take we take the, the hologram of Jody uh, yeah. and we put Jody into an unreal scene on an LED wall. And then we can shoot it with a camera in front of the LED wall and it, it it, it does something called parallaxing. It makes the foreground objects move faster than the background objects. It makes it all 3D as far as the camera is concerned. Now, because wow. you would be a hologram and a volumetric asset, everything would just look real. 
it, as in the camera as if you were really standing in a room and Jody oh was God. on the moon and 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 you were just shooting it it's yeah it's 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 part of how they made the Mandalorian yeah. um although this is the kind of the next level up beyond that technology actually um uh, and of course the the last so so as i mentioned amp virtual studio launched the departure lounge which has the volumetric capture stage and a small led wall and then the last thing is is that we um you know we've already announced the partnership with versatile but versatile yeah. is building the world's largest highest resolution volumetric capture not volumetric capture stage, sorry led volume the same thing where you remove the green screen and you shoot everything in real time in an led volume the same way they did the mandalorian and that's being built here in Burnaby on Silicon Avenue. They've already, the building's already built. Um, and in December, um, uh, we get the keys and we start building out uh, that wall with Versatile. And uh, it's, it, they have some amazing technology, as you know. Uh, the way I like to put it is the Mandalorian wishes they had a Versatile volume. But um, this will be the largest, highest resolution um, LED volume in the world. And it'll be built here in Burnaby. It's going to be about... Uh, I think it's about 85 uh, feet diameter, about uh, eight meters tall. Um, I think wow. it's like 12,000 screens, 12,000 screens all linked together, running this stuff. And you'd be able to shoot anything. You could be anywhere in the world. You could be in any environment and it's all in camera. The director and the cinematographer can control, you know, the time of day. They can add a tree, move a mountain. They can do anything with the actors and, 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 and cinematographers right there. So it's, it's it really super exciting stuff. It's a game changer. That sounds so fascinating. I'm a bit of a nerd with all this. You keep saying Mandalorian. I don't know if I can become more of a Star Wars nerd and embrace those storylines that we're, we're seeing now and really feeling immersed in it in such a way. Actually, but knowing that there's, go ahead. Well, speaking of that, you did see the recent announcement about Tippett Studios. So That's where I was going next. So, Phil, Phil Tippett is like one of the guys who started Industrial Lights and Magic. He's one of the founding members of that team. And he did the walkers in Star Wars. He did the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. Uh, he's, you know, one of the granddaddies of visual effects. He just, by the way, came out with a, a new film, which is kind of his opus, where he, he spent 30 years on it, um, uh, on this super long, uh, super amazing um, stop motion film called um, Mad God. Uh, and that just came out on AMC Shutter a couple months ago. Um, and, that, but yeah. anyway, just give, yeah. giving, yeah. giving Phil Nerd. a plug because I'm a giant fan. Yeah, totally, totally. I'm uh, with you. I'm so, so with you. To have, but to have Tippett Studio. Yeah. One of the, you know, the, 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 I mean, they just, they work on The Mandalorian. They work on Boba Fett. They work on, you know, everything, right? All the cool stuff. Robo if you could think, yeah, all the cool stuff. Um, all the cool stuff. Uh, and, and they chose Amped Virtual Studio for their expansion. They're building out a studio in Toronto. Uh, they expect it to grow to about 250 people. Um, so you could kind of probably work out the math on that deal. Um, uh, hey, Anthony, it, Anthony, we're, this is the perfect yeah. opportunity. And typically, it doesn't take me eight minutes to get to this point. Amped Ventures Inc. is AMPD on the Canadian Exchange in the tech sector yes. is something we need to point to our people because people are looking for something cool to invest in. I don't know how you set the table better than how you just did there uh, by throwing down the Tippet Studio piece as well. Growth, investment, you know, the dream coming to life as it is behind you because people just clicking on this might think, oh, well, that's a virtual setup behind him. No, it's not. No, that's no, not actually... i could walk here you know what watch this hang on go I'm there go, go there here. you'll be able to hear me yeah you can hear me uh here i am this is me standing in the stage Ta -da. Right? uh yeah. surrounded wow. by all these cameras uh i could be getting captured right now now one yeah. of the things that you that you might notice is all these lights yeah right um all those lights are these re lights we can it's about quarter million dollars to, to get those lights. But what that allows you to do is to pre-light any asset Everything. in the screen prior to putting it into the Unreal scene or the Unreal world or the, or the Unity world, wherever we're putting it, uh, we can pre-light the asset uh, so that it fits with the, with the world that we're depositing. Because yeah. then if you yeah, need to shadow good. one side of it, you do, but the other side's lit properly. You, you know, oh, yeah. getting into all, it. All oh, of those, they all, 
they all change color and density and all kinds yeah. of stuff so that we can basically light the asset in any way we need to for wherever it's going to go. We've already had our first paid gig in here. Really? We did, um, yeah, we made the first ever um, 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 virtual reality um, uh, uh, music video uh, with Monster Cat. Uh, and, um, uh, I think we had, we had a few different artists in there. I think it was DJ whipped cream. Uh, I can't remember the names of all of them, but anyway, it, it was, we showed it off at, at the Vancouver national film festival. Uh, cool. and, uh, and we got to see it in, it, you can also, this, here's the thing. So not only is it a super cool music video and, and the music is amazing, by the way, I, like I'd never heard of these people before I, I saw the music video and the music's fantastic. Um, but uh, you could then also see it in VR and be in the video. So not only can you watch the video on a TV, you can kind of walk you through it. Headset, you could put a headset on and be standing inside the video. Uh, and uh, and we just that that was the first paid gig that they had at the Partial Lounge. Of course, there's lots going on. Um, I'm we're actually going to be doing a few shoots today. Uh, hence, I'm here. Um, and we have a big demo that'll be coming out. I'm giving you a little teaser. We have a big demo coming out. But one of our one of our investors and followers is Lachlan Monroe, um, oh, uh, the actor. He's yeah. He's got been in like 260 movies or something like that. A super 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 nice guy. He's always been interested um, in you know virtual reality, augmented reality, all that sort of stuff. Um, he did have he did try to work with another company in this space that didn't work out. Um, and so when he saw what we were doing, uh, he came down and I got to direct him like childhood dream come true. Ah. I got to direct him on that stage to do this demo and we'll be releasing that soon. You'll be able to see what you can do with virtual cameras and, and, uh, uh, and, a, and a volumetric asset. Um, like, for example, there's one shot that we're working on where we have him do a bullet time shot. You know, we have like the camera scoop around like the Matrix. Well. I don't know what the exact number was. I've heard different numbers, but it's something like 10 or $15 million is how much it costs to do those two shots in the matrix. Wow. For us to do it on this stage yeah. was, you know, not even a tiny, tiny itty bitty fraction of that because we capture the asset and then we can do the virtual camera with any, in any way we want. Anyway, that, that little demo so, will be coming out soon. We'll be sure to share it with all our fans. I dig this. Okay, CEO Anthony Brown, Amped Ventures Inc. is the name of the company, AMPD on the Canadian Exchange. Of course, we're talking tech sector here. It's a big deal. Um, short on time and long on questions. I want to I want to end off this particular episode. Of course, we'll catch up again soon, I hope. With how does Hollywood feel about you? Uh, I don't really know yet. I mean, like, you know, tip it pretty hollywood and they like us yeah but um, no do they but do they feel threatened by you <laughs> pulling more no I, 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 do no, they absolutely not like a, let's not go a, not at all yeah yeah i mean look we've had we we had the opportunity at SIGGRAPH to have almost every major brand come by the studio so um yeah i won't name all the names but i think you know you can think of them all um and and really what we're doing is we're giving the creators all kinds of new tools that they never thought they right. could have Right. And so if you think of it, if you're a producer or a director or somebody who wants to make, you know, uh, the next, you know, Avatar or, or, or Lord of the Rings or what have you, look at all the tools we give them to be able to really realize their dreams. So, no, yeah. this, Lord of the this, Rings this, really this, comes this, to whatsoever. mind when you when you said you can move that tree or add that mountain or move that whatever. I was like, oh, man, Peter Jackson would be like, what? I don't have to fly all over the mountaintops of remote New Zealand and figure out what the weather's doing. And like, there's so much here that's so meaty, Anthony. Thank you for doing this. Please come back and, and remind us of whatever. One thing to mention yeah. before we go. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, we did recently announce a private placement. Oh, um, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We recently announced a private placement. Uh, the press release, I think, went out on Monday. Um, you know, please feel free to reach out to IR at amped.tech. Uh, ampd.tech, ir at ampd.tech if you're interested in the private placement and we'll get you the details and the sub and so on. What a great opportunity. How exciting for you. Congratulations. I can't, I can't wait to come and see HQ. I'm right down the road, so I'll come and see you guys. It, it's very exciting. We have so much to do. Um, this, is, this is why we're doing this private placement right now is there's 
we didn't expect the reception to be like it is. We have so okay. much business we have to deal with. Uh, and so we did have to kind of go to the market to, to raise that, um, uh, raise some additional capital to execute on all these deals. But it's, it's for good reason. I love it. AMPD on the Canadian Exchange. Anthony Brown is the CEO. And uh, we're really proud to have you here on First Month. Thanks for doing this as always. Thanks very much, Jody. Thank you.